Now let me introduce you all to my daddy. <coughs> Harry Villasano Fonseo is a 10th generation Louisiana Creole. My wonderful father, the oldest son, and his four brothers all served during the war. Uncle Arnold enlisted in the CCC, Civilian Conservation Corps, during the Great Depression. <coughs> a lot of young men did that. They got three meals a day, medical care, and new socks. <coughs> I will tell you more about Harry later, but let me say a bit about Uncle Arnold. Uncle Arnold was scheduled to get out of the CCC January 1942, then December 7, 1941. Well, you all know what happened. No discharge, and my daddy? This is the Army, Mr. Jones. This is what Arnold writes to Harry. My dear drafted brother, so you joined the ranks of the dragons. That's what we call them. So your feet ache. What did you expect? To ride around in a truck? When I was a rookie in this army, I never wrote home to mother telling her my feet hurt. You haven't seen anything yet until you march 10 miles a day in the heat and your feet begin to sweat and blister. Then you know you've had a little walk for yourself. In regards to the money you asked for mother, I never asked for it when I was making $21 a month. In fact, I sent a little home now and then. There is no reason why you can't get along on it. And my advice to you is you better start learning right now to get along on practically nothing. How do you like the army otherwise? <laughs> How do you like the needles they fed you in the arm? How many have you taken? Do you live in tents or barracks? Do they let you go to town yet? Your kid brother, Arnold Landier. Now it's 1943. More rationing. More of Eva's kit and kin get drafted. Aunt May is ill but never complains. Uncle Bill's letters are her medicine. Dear Eva, I am sitting on top of the world. Received a female from Bill yesterday. I'll tell you what he said. Barring all the mush. I know you're not interested in that as I am. This is what Bill wrote. It has been so long since I have written and so much has happened. We are in North Africa. <coughs> I am in the best of health. I have not received any mail since I have left the States and have not been able to send any out as yet. We are fixing to have a rifle inspection, so I had better hurry with this note. I sure don't like the water here. It tastes like sulfur. Eva, that is all he wrote, except for the sweet stuff I like so much to hear. I'm trying to keep myself content with this letter, not getting my hopes up too much for another letter real soon. One better come quick though, because I reread re -read this one so much, it will soon be falling to pieces. Lots of love, May. A few days later, Eva, her father, and her brother get their first letter from Bill <coughs> over there. Dear folks, it has been quite a long time since I have written to anyone. I am somewhere in North Africa, and it is a very beautiful country. There is a range of mountains here that reminds me of the Blue Ridge, and it sure makes me homesick. I am sending this money order for $50 to Dad for all of your Christmas presents. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. Keep writing, as ever built. So many soldiers in Greenville, from all over the country, there were so many soldiers in Greenville that the Army Air Base issued an order. No kissing on the streets of Greenville. Daisies don't tell, but the MPs will. <laughs> What's a girl to do? Eva just has to make the soldier boys feel comfortable. Y'all come. Dear Eva, I sure had a small time with you and I enjoyed dancing with you. I thought maybe that I treated you too rough and you just thought I was a mean soldier. I sure hope that I see you again. I wasn't drunk Saturday night. I was just feeling good. Sincerely yours, Art. From Paris Island, South Carolina. Dear friend, you might think it's pretty silly to write to you because I don't know you and you don't know me, so that makes us even. I'm 20 years old, 5 feet 8 inches, black curly hair, brown eyes, and I'm Italian. Will you please tell me what you look like and send me a picture of yourself? 
and please tell me if I'm allowed to write to you. Do you go to high school? Do you work? Do you have a boyfriend in the armed forces? I've been in the Marines since May 22nd. I'm from Johnstown, PA. Best regards, Charlie. From Camp Davis, North Carolina. Hello, Eva Lee. I just got out of the guardhouse yesterday. <laughs> that is right, honey. The company commander released me, giving me one more chance. <coughs> About that three-day pass, Eva, I can't get it. I first have to soldier, if you know what I mean. I will make it up to you, Eva, I promise. Eva, it took me up until now to realize how much I miss you. You see, Eva, you were the only one beside my dad to write to me. That is why I am going to make it up to you when I see you, Eva. Whoever is going to marry you will be the luckiest guy in the world. And I hope I be it. <laughs> Lots of love, Jack. P.S. Here's a kiss for you, honey. Oh, that, Jack. Oh, Jack. <laughs> Jack writes on the envelope. This is from a soldier to his girl. Don't take your time, mailman. Flush it. <laughs> now I'll tell you all 